Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. And if you ask a Bible question, I promise that I will do my best to give you a biblical answer. And please keep your questions Bible-related because this is a Bible-focused ministry along with Scripture verse by verse where I teach the entire Bible from Genesis through Revelation using my audio Bible messages. You can study the Bible at your pace, at your convenience, at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, which is found at thebibleversebyverse.com. Study from Genesis through Revelation at thebibleversebyverse.com. Okay, we do have a question. Actually, A two-part question. The listener writes, Hi Mike, I really enjoy your Coffee Break Q&A program. Well, I enjoy bringing it to you too. I love Bible questions. I always have for some reason. I don't know. But here's his question. He says, I was reading Matthew and I came across a verse that has always made me wonder. Could you please explain Matthew 5 verse 4? And if you could also explain verse 3. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Well, you are welcome. I'll do my best. In Matthew chapter 5, let's read it. Matthew chapter 5, let's begin with verse 3. Jesus is speaking, and this is the uh, famous Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus says in verse 3 of Matthew 5, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, means blessed are those who don't think much of themselves. That doesn't mean they run around kicking themselves or putting themselves down. That's not it. But they have a correct understanding of who they are and what they are like in the eyes of God. And if you measure yourself by God's standard laid out in his word according to the Old Testament law, which is the reason for God giving the law, is so that we can measure ourselves by his standard. If you do that, you realize you don't measure up. And if you honestly admit that, that's what it means to be poor in spirit. It means that you know deep down inside that you don't have what it takes to please God. You don't have what it takes to be right with God to make it to heaven after you die and to avoid hell after you die. And so you are blessed if you honestly understand that and you admit it and you don't run from it and you don't lower God's standards, but you honestly admit and understand that you don't have what it takes. You are poor and in spirit. And Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit because they will see or theirs is the kingdom of God. That is the first step towards salvation. The first step towards salvation is to recognize that you can't save yourself, that you need a Savior. The second step is to repent of your sin and turn to the one and only Savior that God has provided, His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and ask Him to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior. And if you do, He will. But it all begins by a recognition that you are poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's what that means. I hope that helps. And I'm not going to have time to get to that second question. We'll do it on the next coffee break, okay? So stay tuned. If you want to send me your questions, you can. Send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Until next time, so long, everyone.